Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to another Strixhaven draft here on the channel. If you're new here, my name is Nikolai, and in this video, I'm going to be talking through all of my picks and all of my plays to help you level up and improve at Limited. This is an especially spicy draft where I try out a ton of new cards that I've actually never played within the format, which is saying something considering how many drafts I have done at this point. If you do enjoy it, remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. And without further ado, let's get to the draft. Here we go, diving into another Strixhaven draft. And we have a pretty solid Mystical Archive in Counterspell, and a very good rare in Dragon Guard Elite Dragon's Guard, guarding multiple dragons, not just the singular dragon. Just a very efficient two drop makes combat very difficult for your opponents because there's great threat of activation of you just having an instant or doubling the counters and just can take over the game single-handedly. So I'm very excited to start a draft with Dragon's Guard Elite. It does go best in a deck that is assertive and has lots of instants in it, so we'll keep that in mind as well. Counterspell is a solid card, but it is a little bit difficult to cast in many decks. And then in the common spot, I like Rise of Extus. Flexible goes into a lot of different decks and is a nice two-for-one. And then Guiding Voice is also quite nice. The other commons are a little bit less good. The Intro to Prophecy is not a particularly powerful lesson. The Pigment Storm is a little expensive. And then Leyline Invocation is solid, but you don't really need to start your draft with a 6-drop. So Dragon's Guard Elite is a great place to start. Following that up, we see a Torrent Sculptor, which is not the same color as Dragon's Guard Elite, and it might look like a blue-red card, but you can certainly play this in a blue-green deck because Torrent Sculptor as a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four with Ward 2 is good, so you just need to basically have a 3-mana Instant or Sorcery in your graveyard before you play the Torrent Sculptor, uh, which is definitely doable. Burying Books is a particularly good combo because then you have a 5-mana card, so it'll end up with 3 counters because it rounds up, so that would be a 4-mana 5-5, five five, so pretty good there. Return Past Caller is pretty solid, but it is a controlling card, and the red-white decks in this format tend to be more aggressive, so it tends to be a card that gets splashed in blue-red more often than a red-white card in a lot of cases. The Pledge Mage is pretty solid. Two drops are important in this format, but I don't really want to commit to the uh, blue-red just yet. Opt does work well with Dragon's Guard Elite, but I would rather take something a little bit more powerful. I think I'm going to take the Torrent Sculptor here over the Returned Past Caller over even Mage Hunter's Onslaught, which is a solid removal spell that could put me into black-green. Okay, well, here we do see a lot of black-green cards. Witherbloom Apprentice is absolutely fantastic, one of the better black-green cards uh, in the set, probably the best uncommon for the deck. It does make me wish a little bit that I'd taken the Mage Hunter's Onslaught, but I would rather be blue-green than black-green, just because blue-green has better card quality overall, fits better into the format, and uh, gives you optionality to go with Dragon's Guard Elite and Quandrix Pledge Mage, uh, though you can still play Quandrix Pledge Mage in your black green decks, it's just harder to, to, to do sometimes. I think Witherbloom Apprentice is very good. Combat Professor is also good, but it doesn't go with the Dragon's Guard Elite, which is my best card. I also saw a solid black card last pack as my second option, probably. Mage Hunter's Onslaught might have been a decent pick, but generally I've been very impressed by the apprentice and it's a key card for this sort of deck so we're going to see what we can do with it if i wasn't taking that maybe i would speculate on the combat professor i might also just take the lash of malice arcane subtraction is okay but i'm just going to take a very powerful wither blue apprentice there and then here we're not too committed yet we could still go a lot of different directions snow day is very powerful as is shock i do like shock quite a bit doesn't go well with the dragon's guard elite it goes well with the Torrent Sculptor. There's also a Spectacle Mage in this pack. There's an Inkling Summoning, which could be a fine lesson. There's no good black cards other than the Inkling Summoning, though. So it might be hard to fill out my my deck if I can't get any good cards there. I really liked Shock, though. It's very efficient. There's also Snow Day, but that's a little bit expensive. I'm trying to uh, approach formats where I can get more cheap cards, generally. And I think I'm going to be pretty happy getting a shock if, if it ends up being the open lane with a Torrent Sculptor type deal. Spectacle Mage. There's also Inkling Summoning, but I think I would like to play the Dragon's Guard Elite, but we haven't seen a ton of green yet, I guess. So we're just going to keep ourselves flexible. And now we get a Prismari Apprentice. I do like that card quite a bit. A great red-blue aggro card, which I think being an aggressive deck is kind of where you want to be if you are playing red-blue. Uh, because it just does the tempo game so well. Though, the Elemental Master please, please plan is also quite nice. Necrotic Fumes is a solid lesson. But, 
Red Blue is looking like it could be open, especially if we're getting Prismari Apprentices. So I'm very happy to get that. After that, Elemental Masterpiece is tempting. The Necrotic Fumes would be tempting, except the only black card I have is with a Bloom Apprentice, so I'm not sure I want to go into that. Uh, just try to get deeper into black if I could just go in a different direction. Pigment Storm is not that great, but Elemental Masterpiece is pretty solid. I'm not a huge fan of Duress. And Reject is just horrible, so we're going to take the Prismari Apprentice. See what we can do. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of these discard spells like Agonizing Remorse. I like Humiliate because the counter is actually pretty relevant, but Agonizing Remorse is not my favorite because the life loss matters and the, it doesn't affect the board in any way. There is Curate, which works well with the Prismari Apprentice. Dragon Guard Elite doesn't really fit in that sort of deck, unfortunately, because you don't want to splash a two drop. There's a Spirit Summoning, but I'm hoping to get better lessons than that. There's Show of Confidence, which can do some good things. It works well with uh, Dragon's Guard Elite, but that's not really a color combination that's supported. Tough pick, tough pick. I'm tempted by this Curate, but hopefully I can get Curates later. But maybe I don't want to force myself to have to pick them up later. I'll just get a Curate now. Because I do have some blue cards. That's a color that I have most in common. Ooh, and now I get a chance to take Symmetry Sage. I've been wanting to try this card out. I've heard some good things about it. Uh, where if you can consistently trigger it with cards like Curate and Shock, it can go very well into an aggressive shell. I do like Expanded Anatomy. I think Scurred Colony is quite good, but I also don't think Scurred Colony is a particularly strong signal. I think m maybe I'm higher on it than a lot of others, just because it does need to get to the late game to be more than just a pretty much vanilla 2-2. But Symmetry Sage is one I've been wanting to try out, and it goes well with this Prismari, Apprentice, Torrent, Sculptor, Curate plan, so let's try it. Whoa, hello, Quintorius. I don't think Quintorius is as supported as I would like in the format. Do I have any things that leave the graveyard? Torrent Sculptor actually does work with Quintorius because it exiles a card, so that's some synergy. Other than that, not really. There's a Make Your Mark. Hmm. There's a Campus Guide. Hmm. I could see taking Make Your Mark. I don't really love the Biomathematician. Quintorius is okay. I'm just going to take Make Your Mark. That card's pretty solid. And now it's between Pigment Storm and Prismari Campus. Pigment Storm is nice interaction at the top end for these decks. Works well with the Apprentice. I think having one copy would be really nice. There's also a land, which is very, very good, but... I'm just going to take the Pigment Storm, make sure I get some... I want one copy of this, I think, in my decks. I don't really want more than that. Now I can take Hall Monitor, or I can take Twin Scroll Shaman. I don't really want Battle Seer. Hall Monitor is not the greatest, but if I'm aggressive enough, maybe it's okay. And then Twin Scroll Shaman does work well with some combat tricks that you can gain access to. I'm going to try the Hall Monitor. I haven't tried that out either. Maybe the Symmetry Sage Hall Monitor deck is a thing. I guess I'll just take the rare here. I'm not playing any of these cards. I could, I guess, switch into red-white, so maybe I would rather just have this Silver Quilt Pledge Mage on the chance that I switch into that deck. Well, if you're going to try one Hall Monitor, might as well try a second one. So we're going to experiment with that a little bit. There is a Make Your Mark. So if we can like use Make Your Mark to trade Hall Monitor for something, we get a very cheap uh, little exchange there. I guess we'll take this. We're fine telling people that Red White is open. Wow, last pick, Owl and Shield Mage. That's a little bit wild. Okay, so looking at this pack, it is completely away from where we are. Green did not look particularly open in our spot. We were very vigilant for it because we opened with a great green card. And we took a Wither Bloom Apprentice fairly early, but it did not look like that deck was open. And Red Blue did seem fairly open. So we're just going to try and stick to our guns here. Fortunately, we have a Silver Quill Rare and a Harmonize, but maybe that'll just solidify the person next to us into those colors so we can get stuff for ourselves. This Access Tunnel is a card that is tempting me right now. I was pretty impressed with it in one of my recent drafts. I also like Introduction to Annihilation. It's a nice little way to get some uh, removal attached to Learn, but I don't have any Learn yet. So we're going to take the Access Tunnel. 
And now I really do value having a copy of the campus if I am going to be going to play that access tunnel because access tunnel hurts your mana, especially colored sources and Prismar campus can help fix that a little bit. So nice little pickup on the campus. Unfortunately, it's looking like our deck is maybe not as open as would have been hoped from this direction, though it's only pick two and the rare was taken. So not a huge signal point yet. This could just be a bad pack for us. Similar to how that last pack was just a pretty bad pack. And we get a pretty solid card, hopefully. If Serpentine Curve ends up being good in our deck, we'll be pretty happy. How many instants and sorceries do we have right now? We have four. Serpentine Curve can be very, very powerful. It's a little it actually isn't a non-bow with the Torrent Sculptor because this counts cards that are in exile. Mascot Interception is kind of a funny combo with Resculpt because you can steal their creature and then Resculpt it, so worth knowing. More 2-drops is nice for aggro decks. I would like some combat tricks, um, but I haven't seen any of those yet. But we're just going to take the Serpentine Curve. I'm presuming we're going to be able to get more stuff. I also like Expanded Anatomy. Works well with cards like Symmetry Sage and Prismari Apprentice. Grape Shot, you say? Hmm... Now that's interesting. We have a lot of cheap cards like Symmetry Sage, Hall Monitor, Make Your Mark. There's also just a two drop. But Grape Shot, I feel like it's not going to be that hard to double spell with it. And shooting two things for one is reasonable. And then if we can go like some crazy turn where we go like Curate into something into Grape Shot, that would be really good. So I think it's worth a shot. It doesn't combo perfectly with Prismari Apprentice, unfortunately. But. As I've been saying a lot, let's try it out, see what happens. I mean, that's part of the fun of draft, is seeing if you can make cards work. I mean, I know that Illustrious Historian is going to be a reasonable two-drop, but I'm not in it for the reasonable. I'm in it for the excitement. Let's go. And now we get this expanded anatomy. Wormhole Serpent's a bit expensive for this deck. We're trying to keep it low to the ground. Expanded anatomy's nice, though. I'm assuming I'm going to get some learn. Maybe it's a pop quiz, maybe it's just a uh, arcane subtraction or whatever those cards, but I'm going to end up with something, and Expanded Anatomy is a good one to have access to. So we have that. Ooh, perfection. Prismari Apprentice is a great addition. I like to see it. Tome Shredder is reasonable. I would like Sudden Breakthrough in this deck. Getting a nice plus two plus oh, getting some treasure to potentially power out some expensive cards or go for a combo turn with a Grape Shot is nice. But this card, it's probably not going to wheel. It would have to be one of the last two cards in the pack. But it could happen. This pack is fairly solid. Hunt for Specimens is okay. Even Barag Buffalo would be a solid addition to the deck. But we're just going to take this. Pretty easy Prismari Apprentice. Now I'm just going to take another Serpentine Curve, I think, over the Elemental Summoning. Might seem odd, because Elemental Summoning is like an on-color lesson that synergizes super well with Prismari Apprentice. But I do like the curve. I have six instants and sorceries right now. I only really need one of these, and maybe I can get one later. I know it's a bit greedy to say something like that, but Serpentine Curve can really do good work, and it can really help me build my deck in a certain way to maximize it with curates and things like that. Yeah, I'm going to take the Elemental Summoning. I think I really want to have back. I'm just going to lock mine up. I'm assuming this would make all of my future learn cards better. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Um, wow, Late Professor of Symbology. That's a pretty good card. I'm just going to take Square Up. I don't think it's particularly good, but maybe it's okay with these Hall Monitors. And I did say I wanted Combat Tricks. Wow, the introduction to Annihilation Wield, along with a lot of black-white cards. What the heck just happened? I just took the card, but nothing... Where did it go? Wait, what the heck? Did I just break it? Where did the card go? It's gone! Wow. Has anyone seen that before? Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen something like that happen. Hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt us. That's just weird. Maybe it's something with my mouse. I don't know. I am definitely a little bit disappointed to see that. 
Would have liked to have it. Ooh, the historian came back. Nice. I don't even know what happened to it. It just disappeared. It's a vanishing trick. Welcome to Annihilation, I guess. Well, this is the perfect card to get. You love to see the Ignis Inspiration. This card's also pretty solid, but it is a 5-drop. And I like having access to the burn. That also gives us access to our lesson board. You know, the lesson board that has a 5-mana kill spell in it, an expanded anatomy, and this elemental summoning. Or would have if there was... Yeah, I'm confused. I've never seen that before, but it was funny, so we'll just take our licks there. There's another Serpentine Curve, but that's not going to wheel. First day of class might wheel. That could be interesting. Way to power up the Symmetry Sage or something. But Igneous Inspiration is a pretty easy pick for me. Fuels the cards. Wow! What a pack! Holy jeez louise. This is a killer pack. Tempted by the Orc has got to be the pick. Electrolyze is really good, but this just... I don't know. Maybe it's too dif difficult on the mana. Electrolyze is super good, too. And it gives us some burn. And I just love casting Electrolyze. There's also Maelstrom Muse, which isn't as good in our deck. But Tempted is so busto. I think I have to take Tempted. I know that I, I love Electrolyze. I love it to death, but I can't take it over Tempted. I've just... when, when If someone casts Electrolyze against me, I'm like, oh, that's too bad. That's, like, pretty rough for me. But when they cast this... Against me, I almost always feel like I've just lost. I don't know. That's a tough pick. Let me know what you would have done. Okay, so more bad two drops it is. Not really in the market for Claim the Firstborn. And now a Curate, I think, over the land... Curate works with our Symmetry Sage, with our Grape Shot Plan, with our Prismari Apprentice, with our Serpentine Curve. Plan might even wheel. This guy might wheel as well. Yay! Sudden Breakthrough came around. Let's go. Thrill or another Sudden Breakthrough. I'm just going to take another Sudden Breakthrough. I want to try this card. This is like a classic collection of bad cards, maybe better than the sum of its parts type deck. And I'm excited to see how it does. Ooh, the perfect card. Frost Trickster is great in this type of tempo deck. And last new card. Mana Tithe. Um, this isn't a Pillar Drop Warden deck. It's probably a Make Your Mark deck, though. Ardent Dust Speaker is reasonable, but it's a very expensive card, and we're trying to be low to the ground. I don't mind first day of class in this deck either, probably. My, your wish is my command, I guess. First day of class it is. Let's try it. Or maybe we won't try it, but we at least have access to it now. We only have one learned spell. Wow, this guy came back. That's wild. This guy also came back. Kind of a crazy draft here. The Electrolyze didn't come back. Shocker. But, yep, uh, real tricky. I'm not even sure if that was the correct pick or not. The burn, plus being easy to cast, plus cycling through the deck. Very tempting there. I'm kind of wishing that I had a second Serpentine Curve. But I guess I only have one Learn Spell. Ooh, nice, another 2-drop. That was a close pick as well. The I ended up with one Learn Spell. And now my Learn Spell has options. It can get me a 5-mana 4-4 four, four to trigger my Prismari Apprentices, which is one of the reasons I wanted it, honestly, because being able to double-trigger that is really good. Ooh, hoo, hoo, the, is this the Dragon's Approach deck? 3-mana deal 3? Probably not. Ooh, last pick, make your mark. Oh yeah, you love to see it. When the last pick card is a one card that you're happy to play in your main deck, you know you've done something either very right or very wrong. 
Well, we didn't get the introduction to Annihilation that we wanted. <laughs> Which is still baffling to me. Hello, Umbral Juke. Welcome to the team. First day of class could be playable. I don't think this is an Elemental Masterpiece deck. It's just that card's too expensive for what we're working with here. Igneous Inspiration. What's our... 12 creatures, 15 non-creatures. Hmm. We have three Make Your Marks. I think that means we don't need Square Up. Square Up is mostly going to be giving plus... Plus two, plus two, or something like that. It makes that card decent. Like, it buffs all of our creatures, which is why I'm considering it. Like, it gives plus... Plus two, plus three to this guy. It gives plus three, plus three to that guy. Makes this thing into a 4-4. Four, four. We can even, like, buff up our hall monitors with that, which is kind of cute. So this is certainly a 16 land deck. So I like going... Casting Tempted by the Auric is going to be tough. So we have 7, 14, 15, 16 there. Hmm. I like Make Your Mark. We're trying out a lot of these cards. I think this card's actually solid in the deck. The treasures are going to be helpful for captain t casting Tempted. Every time we cast Tempted, we'll have to think, would it be better as an Electrolyze? Also, I'm, I kind of want to play this card. Seven mana, make a 5-5 five, five haste. That could be a good top end. I like this. How many... What's our curve look like? Mm -hmm. The Scrape Shot could, could do real good stuff. I like the Serpentine Curve. That pick paid off. I'm just going to cut a Make Your Mark, I think. We don't need three of them. We have two of those, two Sudden Breakthroughs to help us get through the defenses. Maybe I do want it, but we'll, we'll have to see. That is probably going to do for the build. Yeah, our colors are heavier towards red, but we still want a lot of blue sources to cast the Tempted. So, and to cast these guys on turn two. Access Tunnel is going to be pretty good in this deck, I think. Blood Age General is basically a vanilla 2-2, but hopefully we can use Make Your Mark to do good stuff with that. <laughs> And uh, that's going to do it for the deck. I kind of want to get this Make Your Mark in there. I'm not sure what to cut, though. Honestly, Blood Edge General could go. That card is pretty bad, but I do need to have critical mass of creatures, and 12 is about as low as I'm willing to go in this deck. Though this is a creature as well, so really it's 13 creatures. But yeah, let's just see how this does, and I'll see you folks in the matches. Before I get to the matches, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the patrons who support my work at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas, and special shout out to those who support at the credits level. Their support really does help me continue producing high quality content on a consistent basis, and for that I am truly grateful. If you feel like my work has provided you with a couple dollars worth of value, and you would like to give back and support, then the Patreon is the best way to do so. In exchange, you not only get to help me continue making videos, but also gain access to things like card tier lists, exclusive Patreon polls being put in the credits, and even one-on-one -on -one coaching at the higher levels. If that's something that sounds interesting to you, be sure to check it out at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. And without further ado, let's get to the matches. Welcome to round one. We have a fantastic opening hand. None of our combat tricks, which I kind of want to see like a couple of those games, so maybe I should be playing more of them. But Prismari Apprentice is a good start, or just Illustrious Historian. Probably not going to lead with this because it's so good with Pigment Storm later. Getting that extra counter is nice. No wonder my computers felt so loud. Oh, the combat tricks. Let's go. So if they have a Lash of Malice, I want this thing to be the one that dies. They might have a Lash of Malice. They had priority there. Uh-oh. ruh row. Zeal Inkling Summoning. Well, that's reasonable, but still not the greatest. Let's try to just get through our cards here. Put the pressure on, as they say. 
I wonder why they didn't trade. Well, this is suspicious. They're pretty far behind on board. They're even more behind now. Well, that's a good draw. We don't want to do anything with that just yet, though. So we have a decent amount of power. This Igneous Inspiration is going to do good work. Make your mark is good here as well. They're attacking still. What do they think they have to turn the tide? Probably a big creature of some kind. What four drop could they have? It feels like they should be trading this in most situations, which is why I'm worried. Or not worried, but I'm curious. Okay. Well, this card would be good if we had another red source. Okay, we'll attack. We'll let them use their expel. Which it seems like they have. Oh, they're creating a 2-1. Hmm. Hmm, I could make your mark. This could also just be... Lash of Malice bait. But they probably would have used that before, right? Hmm. Got a bad feeling about this. We'll let it happen. Okay. So I can use this to make my guy into a 3-2. can also just Igneous Inspiration their guy. I'm just going to get a 3-2 here, I think. It does burn my mana. So maybe I want to go Sudden Breakthrough on this guy to do 2 extra damage. And then use... When am I going to get to cast Sudden Breakthrough if I don't cast it now? Because I'm probably going to cast Igneous Inspiration next turn. I'm glad I didn't go for any combat trick there. Let's just do that. Get our 3-2. They have 6 power. We have 7 power. Not having a second red source is a big problem. Our, we probably would be in a commanding spot if we had 2 mountains. Or we'd be in a much better spot if we had 2 mountains. But... That's the problem with playing Tempted by the Auric. I will also say that Electrolyze would be a really good draw here. No blocks. We have Lethal on board if we draw like a land and... If we draw a land, then we pretty much have Lethal guaranteed because we can Sudden Break through one of our guys and Igneous their face. There's a land. Do we have room to cast Hall Monitor in that combo? No, we do not. So if we attack with everything, <sighs> so we're one point of damage off. That's tough. So I think we just go for the classic line. We go sudden breakthrough to win the combat. And then we Igneous their Orator. Get the expanded anatomy. 
So we're dead to a combat trick, but we could potentially kill them if we draw a land, because then we have Pigment Storm. Close game. Very close. It's the type of game where if we could have gotten a Hall Monitor out to peck in for a couple points of damage, we could have won. It's kind of wild. We also can just play Hall Monitor and tap it to make a creature unable to block. If it looks like that's what we need to do to win. But Razor's Edge here. I know I use that phrase a lot, but this game is really close. Looks like that's game. They probably have a expanded anatomy in the board. To go get. No, it's a pest summoning. In that case, a land could still win it for us. Wow, do we literally go to one and then just have to cold rip an untapped land to win? Oh, the pain. That's tough. Maybe we still have them. All monitor. Put two counters on it. Two of our guys get through. Unfortunately, the, the two guys that get through are the smaller ones. Wow, they have no idea how close they were to death. Yep. Tough. Uh, if only we had a land, we would have won. Because we kill one of their things, deal four to them, they block this. They're at three. And they take damage and die. Yep. A land drop away and we win that game. Let's evaluate some of the cards in the deck to see if they should deserve their spots still. Grape Shot would have been very good there. I really like these sudden breakthroughs. Um, make Your Mark was definitely a good card. I don't think we want the square up. Yeah, let's just keep it like this for now. See how it does. Oh, we were basically either top decking a land on that final turn away, an untapped land, so we couldn't have top decked our campus, or having a mountain earlier in the game so that we could use Make your mark alongside hall monitor a little bit easier as well so a couple of things that could have gone a little bit better there but overall i'm pretty happy with how the deck performed in that game given the issues maybe we were supposed to keep prismari apprentice around for longer but we never would have been able to cast a five drop so i don't think it really mattered Okay, this is a fine opportunity to test out Symmetry Sage. We're going to keep this. We can use Curate to find a mountain, then we can cast Frost Trickster. Access Tunnel could do good work, or it could be just a complete dud here. Yeah, we're going to go over the Symmetry Sage on turn one. Just draw. I could just draw another curate. I'm just gonna put both away. Look for a mountain. There we go. That way I can then cast this and frost trickster. I'm just going to go Blood Age General, I guess. Because that way I can actually start using my Make Your Marks.
And I can like attack with Symmetry Sage, and then if they like do go for a block, it can make your mark, and Symmetry Sage will deal damage. Aye. Token opponent sacks a creature. Well, I will sacrifice my Symmetry Sage. I think it's going to be a little harder to enable. The access tunnel can make this guy unblockable. So we have them on a four turn clock, essentially. And we'll even be able to hold up Make Your Mark. To keep our guys relatively safe. Sure thing, buddy. -o. Oh my gosh, what a draw. Well, that was obviously fortunate. Now they're at 10. We'll just start, be able to start activating the tunnel to keep our Blood Age General attacking. What are they going to get? Ooh, anatomy. So they think they can race. Maybe. Oh, they definitely can race. Jeez Louise, that card's terrifying. Hmm. Hmm. And now we have a two turn clock almost. I think we let we make this thing into another spirit when they make us sacrifice a guy. Ah, oh, gosh. We're about to be dead. It's tough. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, uh, gosh. We're one mana off, I think. Oh, that's so tough. Because we can make this unblockable, make it into four power, and put them down to two. So they'll go to five here. I don't actually think I can tap this thing. I can't afford to, but I was close to killing them there. They just don't know. And so if I survive this turn and this thing sticks around, I win. They can give this thing plus three, plus three in flying, but that puts me to one, I think. It's essentially plus four, plus three. Oh, no, because they can make me draw a card and lose a life. Oh, I wonder if they'll see it. I've been, like, very close in both of these games. Silver Quill Command is just very good. Wow, they actually have the win here on board. I wonder if they'll find it. Okay. They're just showing off at the fact that they're playing Ageless Guardian. Wowza. Because this says target player draws a card and loses a life. So if they target me, I go to 8. This thing gets plus 3, plus 3 and flying. Wow. Absolutely sick play with their Silver Quill Command. Let's hope they find it. I kind of am rooting for them to find it because you always want people to be able to not have a feels bad when they look back on it. I mean, at the same time, I would like to get more games in with my deck. 
Looks like they are uncertain. Oh, gosh. I think they might have found it. They're hovering their card. They're reading. Oh, gosh. The uncertainty is a kind of tricky line. I could no, I wouldn't fault them for not noticing it, but I think they, I think they've got it. I think they've got it. Yep. Good game. Well played. Well played. Oh, they found the line. Ouch. If they hadn't drawn Biblioplex assistant, we would have won this game. If we had one more life point, we would have won this game. Oh my gosh. Real tough. Real tough. It's a shame because I know that the deck might look scrappy or bad because of some of the cards in it. But both of those games were very, very close. And could certainly have ended our way. I think the first one... I mean, the first one was inches as well. We were like one point off in the first game. And then the second game, we were also like two points off or something. Or like them not having a flyer or them not getting their guy back again. Ooh, let's go. This is the dream. One drop, two drop, three drop combat trick. This is, this is the god tier hand for this deck. It's the best it can assemble probably. So we'll see how it does in the best case scenario. Whew. I mean, granted, this card's not great, but you know. You play some bad cards to facilitate the strategy. The overarching plan. If they don't have a two drop, they're just deep trouble. Yep, okay. I will also say that Access Tunnel just totally gave me a shot in that last game. I can use this to make them unable to block. Sure, that thing doesn't do anything. Just keep attacking. Oh, does this have reach? No, it doesn't. It wouldn't matter to me if it did. This thing is to bring back a creature. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Fortunately, I can't cast this. I, I wouldn't want to cast it for no value anyway. Got like three points of burn here, so this thing's almost lethal. Okay. Hit me with your best shot. Okay, they do. If they hold up all their mana here, we probably just want to attack with the Trickster. I don't even want to use the Hall Monitor ability, really. So I could trade these guys off, but then they have the threat of getting it back, so I don't even want to do that. <sighs> Eventually they'll tap out, or maybe they'll use Heated Debate on this thing now. Hard to say. They just do nothing. Wow. Wowza. I wonder what they have. They could have heated debate, they could have study, they could have some combat trick of their own. I do know that if we keep trading two damage for three damage, I will win that trade. Okay, so it's a three mana spell that they have. Shock is good, shock is good. So I could discard Pigment Storm. I think I'm just going to attack them again. So they don't have Heated Debate. They probably would have used it at this point. Make your mark is pretty embarrassing.
That's what they had. Okay. I can deal with that. Three cards in hand. They're playing Biblioplex Assistant. Okay. Pre-combat, no less. To get back, expel. Well, I have a lot of points of reach in my hand if I can get through the defenses. So I can do this. I can make your mark. Sudden breakthrough. Shock this guy. There we go. Looks like we got him. They go to one. And we can burn face. Ooh. So it's looking like Make Your Mark is just a super key component of the deck, so I should probably just play my third copy. Because it lets me just make a 1-mana 3-2 a lot of the time. The hall monitor is pretty solid. <sighs> so the Igneous Inspiration really makes this play. Pushes it over the line. I'd still have to make the play probably to put them to one life. But I would be I'm, I wouldn't have the guaranteed win here because they have that expel. So any creature makes it a lot tougher. Though I could just find removal to maybe get through the last point of damage. I'm glad the deck's gonna get a win though. Feels good to get a W on the board. Okay, that's their play. Why does it make me learn? I've won. <laughs> that's funny. Wow, just learning there just reminded me of that like really bizarre like card just disappearing during the draft. Absolutely hilarious. Okay. So let's just get that last make your mark in. And maybe we just cut the torrent sculptor. I don't think it's very good in our deck. We don't have a lot of expensive things and double blue is tricky. Like discarding a card to deal two to a creature is okay, but it's just a four mana three three basically because we don't have any expensive instants or sorceries. So I just didn't really think about it before. Wow, this is a hand. Oh my gosh. This is like a fully functional hand. I have to, I think I'm going to keep it, but like, I'm not super happy to keep this hand. I hope we can draw Serpentine Curve. Or Tempted by the Ulrich. That'll be the big haymakers here. Ugh, wish I had, like, a Blood Age General to start making my mark on. Ooh, red-green. Put this into the graveyard for sure. Actually, I guess we didn't have to do that. We could have just kept that land as well. Yeah, regret. <laughs> Doth floweth. Oh, never mind. I'm the greatest.
do this pre-combat in case I find a hall monitor. I'm going to play the Blood Age General here. So I'm going to put the Mountain in the graveyard, actually. I, I have enough action, and I don't have that many expensive cards in the deck. Let's go! I'm about to make my mark on the world. Hopefully we do find a land eventually, so we can Pigment Storm. Wow! They couldn't handle it. Our deck was too powerful. The power of aggro. Look at that. That's absolutely wild performance. That's what I like to call perfection. <laughs> that was that was a, a, a weird game, to say the least. Absolutely bizarre. I'm glad the deck is on the board, though. Getting a couple of wins. Keeping weird hands, getting rewarded. That's my type of fun. I'm actually really... It's, it's super exciting to try out all these cards. Like, it's always fun when a band of misfits bands together... Oh, I should I said use the word band twice. Uh, it's always fun when a band of misfits comes together to form a more cohesive whole, conquering their foes despite their challenges, shall we say. Who knew that Hall Monitor plus make your... Just, the Hall Monitor just wanted to make his mark. That's all that he needed. And similarly, the Blood Age General just is looking for troops to lead. He comes from a different time, a different age, a different historical period. Almost like the Jurassic Age. Which is why he relates so strongly to the Hall Monitor, which also is a remnant of the, that same Jurassic Age. They just call it the Blood Age because it's Magic the Gathering, so they can't do too specific stuff. Wow, the synergy. We can make this thing into a two-powered creature with our Symmetry Sage. Let's go. Come at me, bro. I've got my hall monitor. Oh, yes. The Symmetry Sage is pretty bad, I'd say. It, it, it has looked relatively bad, though. But I want to get more reps before I'm certain. Ah! Aye! Wow. They're splashing. The aggression. The ambition. Those lands were not favorable for me. Oh my gosh. Well, this game's gonna end badly. Unless they don't have another land. Oh my gosh, they don't. Wow, that's funny. Okay. I hope that they go for the, uh, the, uh, adaption on this, and I expanded anatomy. No! That would have been so sick if they'd gone for it, and I could have just blown them out with my sudden breakthrough. Okay. We'll play this. We're totally going to lose this game, by the way. not looking good. This was a really rough situation. Please go for expanded anatomy on this mountain. Please, opponent. Don't put it on the Witherbloom Pledge Mage. Please, sir. Have mercy. <laughs> oh, we're so dead. Oh, this is so bad. Yikes. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Wow. No blocks. Well, this is an easy decision. Get out of here. I am just going to make the Symmetry Sage a 2 2 so it can trade with the Skirt Colony. Wow, they great. I don't think we can win this game. They just ramped too hard early on and we didn't have a shock or something. Oh, gosh. Do they have, like, a pest summoning or something? 
No, they do not. Oh. Well. Hit them for two. We just totally can never win this game because they just make like a thousand. They gain like two, four life from those things. Not the best. You hate to see it. Yeah. Just difficult. That's how it goes sometimes. I don't know why they're splashing for first day of class. That's bizarre to me. And we'll take 10. Okay. Imagine if we won this game, just like, randomly. Like, they don't have any blockers right now. <laughs> and we have like, eight power. Are they gonna actually introduction to Annihilation that? That would be hilarious. Oh my gosh, they are. Come on, sick draw. Frost Trickster, give me it. Oh my gosh, the Serpentine Curve. Holy smokes. Wow. Remember when I said this game was unwinnable? It's not the hero that we thought we needed. It's the hero that we did need. No! I... Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm so I'm so sad. I can't believe it. I could have beaten so much junk. If they just had like a kill spell, I oh gosh, why? I'm so sad. Oh well sometimes your opponent draws the frost trickster instead of you. Rats. Feels bad, man. I cry every time. Well, it was a noble effort. A brave exploration into the things that are possible in Strixhaven Draft with a little bit of imagination and a whole lot of hope. Just trying to make my mark on the world. Hall monitor style. Gosh, he certainly made his impact felt. Uh, my opponent must have been like, oh gosh, I could actually lose this game. Which is kind of funny. Oh uh, gosh, well, what to say about this deck? We never do tempted by the Auric. If we had... It would have been nice. It was our best card by a lot. Followed by the inspiration. But considering that we never drew our best card. Or Grape Shot. I really wanted to do some sweet things with Grape Shot too. Which never got to happen. So kind of actually disappointed that we never drew any of our sweetest cards. But we got to draw Hull Monitor a decent amount. The Symmetry Sage was pretty bad. Uh, I might have rather had... I don't know. But I probably also should have taken the Serpentine Curve over the Elemental Summoning. Elemental Summoning would have been, was a nice option to have. But... I don't know, Serpentine Curve would have been pretty good. The Torrent Sculptor didn't do much. Overall, pretty sweet deck. I think it could have definitely performed better. Uh, I feel like the first two games in particular were very close to being wins, with just slightly better things lining up. Axis Tunnel once again performed quite well. It was a scary threat. And uh, I was pretty happy with how this deck performed overall. Um... Yeah, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more, and comment with your questions, thoughts, and feedback. Leave hashtag Hall Monitor Mark, because the Hall Monitor did make his mark in this, because, I don't know, he died and had two Make Your Marks on him, which was just really funny. So, make your Hall Monitor, or 
haul your mark or something like that. Um, the mark of the haul to let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video in the comments below. Remember to, that if you would like to support my work, if you enjoy my videos and you want to see more like this, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. You support me and help me continue making videos, and you also gain access to things like my tier lists, coaching sessions, and uh, being put in the credits and all that good type of stuff. You can find all the information you need at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas, uh, patron polls as well, things like that. Um, I really do appreciate the support, but you can find all of the links that you'd need to find more of my content in the description down below. That is going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it, and I'll talk to you next time.